Oh, look at my, me and my brother. We, we both look like twins. What is wall yard? I guess you guys are wondering. Let me explain. Wall yard is actually from Wally tribe from Maharashtra. And they use geometric shapes like circle, square, triangle and more. And for the on olden days, on special occasions, they use a brown background. That brown background is made with a mixture of cow dung and mud. And then they use like white painting thing, white paint that is made from rice, water and gum. So here I'm choosing the sunset colors, red, orange and yellow. So here I, so we have to, act, uh, first we have to make a square, like a border. So you want, in that square you're gonna make the wall yard. Here I'm using poster red from Camel Student Poster Paint Colors, poster colors. So here I'm using poster color, poster red. Take some in your paintbrush. You can use any color you want and swag from and sweep it from the right to left or left to right. Here I did a mistake by using so much water. I'll tell you why. It. Here I am using. Here I show all the colors. There you go. We need to show all the colors. Okay, here I am. Now I'm gonna use this vermilion cube. I don't know how to spell that, but it's orange that has a reddish tone in it. And it's so, like, they both look exactly the same. So there we go. I added so much. And then the rest all is gonna be lemon. Lemon yellow. It's not lemon yellow, sorry. It's gonna be chroma yellow too. So I blended the orange and the yellow and then I added a little bit of yellow near red. Here I you can see I'm doing like an eye. There there's an eye and then we're gonna do the drum and then drum and then I'm doing the people up there. The drumming with it's not mics, it's actually the drumsticks. Not the eating one, the drumming one. And here I'm drawing some people that are dancing in wall yard form. Wall yard form, if it's a man, you are not supposed to put a bun. If it's a woman, you have to put a bun, like how I put over there. So here I'm drawing each and every dance movement. And I did a mistake by adding too much water on red. And then here I'm using the white foot marker black and outlining it. And I also did a mistake by adding too much water on red. And you can see how it, like the, the shape came. But it's okay. It's all fine. The only that matters is the wall yard. If that's bad, then it's not wall yard at all. You can see that place where I added a lot of water it has become lighter I, so you can color everything fully in I colored everything fully in because I felt that it looked good with all colored in so I did this wait we're not in end let's do the trees so first do like a U shape or like a hill shape and then a straight line and then dots on, dots on each. And then like a V shape coming up. Like a tree. Like you know Bob Ross's tree. Happy little trees. You can see it, that my paint came out of the line. So here I'm doing the border. So first you have to like make the border shape how you want it to be. Here I'm using square and there we go. Now use your marker and fill in like that. Like how it's showing on the video. So I did a outline on the 
one lap design where first when I did the line and when I just now did the line, the background line. So there we go. I did a mistake but I fixed it with so much of them. But it's okay. Now here we are going to do a mandala design. Which is called, this is also called the Wally background, Wally border. And here I'm using a charcoal pencil in medium. And I'm doing like a ups, upside U shape. So doing this, your your body picture is will also look so beautiful and good. So I took my black fabric castle crayon and started doing it. But before that I was thinking, oh what color should I put? Wait, should I put this brown? But then I went with black because Wally art it's either brown or black. Only the background is a different I mean white or black. Only the background is different. White and black is only the best to use on Wally art. But I think on sunset, black is the best because it looks so good. Now I'm doing the design for the drum and here I'm using mandala designs. Here I did like triangles in different places and then the way I put the about border design and then I colored alternately on the end one with pen. I should have used a crayon or a pencil or a marker but I still used a pen because I think it will match the color more because the pen's color and the other colors are totally different. making it a little bit darker. Here I'm gonna put my sign because I'm done with it. And there we go. Wait a minute. Then I notice that my sign is too light. So I went on with a fire castle color pencil and wrote my sign on top of that again and it was so dark and good there we go I'm done with it now that's it guys hope you liked it try it at home it's really easy to do and it's also fun to do comment down below how you liked it Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and press the bell icon so if I post a new video, you get a notification. Bye-bye! Zooming out!